I found some great little vintagey camp stoves. This one, I accidentally snapped the little gas line in here. So I'm going to fix it with this. This should work. This works on all different sorts of materials. And you know, these are kind of worn out, but it's no big deal. I'll just put some foil on the bottom and it'll be good. So we got us the little adapter hose so we don't have to use the tiny cans. And I will file down the little gas nozzle. I'll show you. I accidentally snapped this because this wasn't tight and I, you know, put a new gasket on here and then when I was screwing in the spout, this turned and it snapped this. So I have filed it and I'm going to apply this and it will set in probably about an hour and I'll show you what I got going on. This is, this is a Rainier, a Camp Chef Rainier Mountain series. So this is a two-part that you mix together, and I can't video that because I don't have my tripod. Sorry about that. It's a bit of a messy application, but it's fine. This one had actually been um, uh, pushed in right here, so I just beat that down with a hammer because it didn't sit level with it like that. And then that made this drip pan able to come in and out because it wasn't able to do that before. So, this is gonna be a good little stove. I mean, I paid 15 bucks a piece for these. You really can't beat that. And it wasn't broken when I bought it, that was my fault. But I'm pretty happy, these are very easy to, to bring. They're very portable. Set an hour, but really this will take about 24 hours before I should test it out. And you can smooth it with some denatured alcohol or rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna put some on this little screwdriver and kind of smooth it out and make it nice because it won't stick to it. It won't stick to the screwdriver once I do that. So now it's all smoothed out and I'll come back and show you when it's finished. All right, so I know this is held and it's good because when I turn on the gas to it, I don't hear any gas coming out, which means that these little nozzles are clogged. I am having a heck of a time getting the second one out. These are hard to get out because they have just two little notches to grip with, one on each side. So this one has become stripped and it will not come out for nothing. Um, these, these can be replaced. I'd like to order some, but I still need to get this out. So I've taken off this side and put some WD-40 down there to try and help the corrosion come loose. Um, this is a jet nozzle, so it has just tiny, it's such a tiny little hole at the top. I don't know if you can see it. That pinhole. So, we're working on that, and I'll let you know. I've just disconnected everything to make it possible. The igniters, um, we'll be working on that, and I'll let you know. So, getting the second one out, I can see how dirty it was. There's a bunch of grit, and but I'm not happy with the amount of damage that was done to it just to get it out. The hole's still fine. Because I can't just run out and buy these, I'm just gonna use it for now, but I would like to get some more. I really don't like the way there's only a notch on each side to loosen it. Uh, it's not wanting to focus. Um, I would really prefer, the ones that I've seen on Amazon that I'll order they have notches all the way around, like a hexagon, which I would much prefer, so I'll have to find the right ones. It should work though, I'm sorry, it's not focused. It should still work. So what we have to do is drop these in some boiling water to clean them, get all the, you know, residue and things like that off of them. This is the tool that finally got it off. I couldn't quite grip it with everything I tried. Uh, this is the one that finally worked. Wish I would have used it first. But I had to have it in this position. I had to have the stove in this position just to get a good angle on it to get it off. It, it was pretty challenging. The WD-40 may have helped a little, but really it was this tool. While I was at it, I went ahead and took these off. Oh, I need to go the other way. Um, to clean them, because this will help the flame. these off and then you just kind of clean these off really good my thing does not want to focus I'm so sorry it's not focusing clean these off really good and put them back in and that will help the flame quite a bit too 
Okay, I am not one to give up easily, and I become obsessed with something when it doesn't work. But I did everything that I was supposed to do. And reassembly of this style of the Camp Chef Rainier is... I know this is old, so these I don't even think they make these anymore. But the reassembly is so incredibly difficult just to find out that it didn't work to clean the nozzles. Which means I could get new nozzles, except I am not going to fight with this thing to put it back together. It's really, really difficult to line up all the parts inside. You can't see, and there's no room from your hands, and it's pinching, and it's cutting on your wrists, and it's like, mmm. This, this one actually made me pretty angry, to the point where I'm like, yeah, this is going in the garbage. And I very rarely feel that way about anything.